Most of us may not have heard of Claudio Zampoli yet, but he's considered a fixture in Hollywood, where he is the indispensable car mechanic to the stars. And now Mr. Zampoli has designed what may be the ultimate car for the stars, or anybody else with $250,000 or so available for basic transportation. To look at his car, Mr. Zampoli believes, is to fall in love, because its purpose is highly engineered beauty. But there's also a great deal beneath the hood. There's a V16 engine that will power the car over 200 miles an hour, which may not be exactly practical, but then who buys a practical handcrafted Italian sports car? The Cisetta Marauder is the result of a lifelong dream. It was 10 years in the making, and Claudio Zampoli joins us from Los Angeles right now. And thanks for being with us, Mr. Zampoli. Um, I was reading the introduction and couldn't take a look at the car, but, but if you could describe it to me in terms of how it conforms with the dream you had for 10 years. Well, it's described, I mean, that's, is not, um, how can I describe, um, How do you describe a dream, you mean? I can describe a dream. Uh -huh. It was a dream from, it started from a long time ago, about 10 years, probably even more, but it's matured later on after we did different, different drawing, different, mm, mm, mm -hmm. um, Boy, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, tell me what you wanted to do with this car that, that you found lacking in your average Chevy or Toyota, for that matter. Well, you can't really compare to that type of level. I'm, I'm more to the level of... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> your average Maserati or Lamborghini, I should say? Lamborghini, Ferrari, I mean... Uh, okay. But even then, I mean, the, the, the small production is going to be in this car is going to be so small that I'm not interfering with any one of the big uh, factory, mm -hmm. um, like Ferrari, they build about three, four, uh, 4,000 cars, Lamborghini is about 500 cars, I mean, my goal is just to, to get to 100 maximum, mm -hmm. which would be a pre-production of about 15, 20 cars right now. Well, let's so that, go ahead, Mr. Zampoli. So I said, you know, uh, I'm not really interfering with anyone. It, it just is, the production is going to be so small and so unique that to find this type of uh, people as buying this car is, it will be fairly easy. I mean, there is enough room in this, in the whole world to, to, to place about 50, 100 cars a year. Mm -hmm. Is there enough money? Uh, I mean, let me get to the bottom line. How much will your automobile cost to purchase, do you guess? Well, to purchase it would be in the range of 150000 but it may sense a lot. I mean, consider that, you know, a Toyota, like you say, there's about 20000 mm -hmm. But if you look at in the range of Ferrari and Lamborghini, I'm, I'm very much close. Mm -hmm. Of course, this would be a completely handmade car, uh, and it makes it so unique. I mean, it's a new 16-cylinder engine, uh, uh, a new... Let me ask you about the 16-cylinder the, the engine, and, uh, and I believe somewhere where we can have a picture of that at some point. W why a 16-cylinder engine? Is that, is that necessary? Well, it's not necessary. I mean, it's, it's something different. I mean, everyone has got the 12-cylinder. I mean, 12-cylinders become so an, um, uh, common... We're, we are looking at a picture right now of your 16-cylinder engine. Yeah, you know, that's why I said it looks like a steel factory underneath a hood. Yeah, it is a big block. Yeah, it is a six-cylinder block. Uh huh. And but it, just, and well, tell us what it does. Well, I mean, consider the six-cylinder is pretty much well packed in the, in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in transverse and then the car, so you really don't even think that there's a six-cylinder behind there. Mm -hmm. The way it's been engineered from uh, from uh, to take power in the middle, it makes the whole thing very small. I mean, fairly small. How many miles per gallon? Well, we don't know exactly, but we'll be in the range of 8 to 12 miles a gallon. Mm -hmm. Of course, it depends on what speed you're going. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, and, and, and your car is built to do how many miles per hour? Well, it would be over 200. Yeah. But, of course, you wouldn't want to actually drive it that, that fast, would you? Well, no. I mean, there's very few people that they, they think that... Uh, they go over 200 miles, but uh, I don't know how many will be. Mm -hmm. But just the idea to have a power uh, um, that go that fast, it makes, I think, makes people feel, feel good. Mm -hmm. every, every now and then, um, 
in this country, we get somebody who comes out of the auto industry and says, I'm going to do it the right way this time. Price is no object. I'm going to make a great and enduring car. Uh, John DeLorean was, I guess, the last prominent example. And of course, that had an, unhappy, had an unhappy finish. Where do you intend to be different? What are you going to do differently? Well, there is a lot of difference between what DeLorean did and, and my car. I mean, DeLorean, it was, it was reaching a point of making almost like competing with the General Motor. I mean, I'm not competing with anyone. It's just strictly, completely different in a, in a way of, of production, uh, of making a, a production of exotic car. Mm -hmm. I mean, this will be, you know, like I say, it's a maximum, probably reach the maximum in four or five years. So it's not we 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 thinking at getting a, a thousand and thousand of this model, mm -hmm. is and it's exactly the purpose of not the principle of building that car is exactly there. I I like to go back on the old days, not in the future. See, before they used to, we used to build cars. I mean, almost to the customer, like a custom build. Yeah, which today is impossible. Ferrari, or Lamborghini, or Maserati. There will be never. Uh, except uh, like a custom built car for, for any for any money. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back to the old day when I used when it used to be that way, when for I used to build car for for demand of people that say they want something special. I want the interior different. I want this different. Mm -hmm. And today is not possible anymore. Is it meant to be a lifetime investment? Your car? Yes, I will. I think it will be very a lifetime investment mm -hmm. because the, the way the, the design and the engineering, the new suspension and new, I mean, everything is completely new design. So it is, it is a, pure, uh, a pure car. Thank you very much for being with us, Mr. Zambola. Thank you. Nightwatch will continue in a moment.